easy, inexpensive, depending on how you've done it, because I know you like to do the Randy Feltis twist. Spent a bit of money. You spent a bit of money. But that's okay. You, you probably use like high quality chocolate. You want to use high quality chocolate, but then you can cut corners. You make things easy after that. Good. You just spend a bit of money, and then it all works out. I just like them because you make a whole sort of sheet of it, and then you break it up, and yep. then it's easy for you to distribute. You can give them out as gifts. You it's bag nice. them up. You can bag send them people up. home with it. You know, yeah. if you forgot someone's birthday, here you go. go. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> if you like them, you give them a bigger piece. If you don't, you give them a smaller piece. Right. And it all works out, right? <laughs> it's perfect. So, and the, here's the thing: it, it can go with any ingredients. You can put Put anything into it. Yeah. So I've got some milk chocolate here that I've melted on a double boiler, and okay. some dark chocolate here. And I know that you'd want to work with the double or with the dark chocolate, but no, I like milk chocolate, like milk too. chocolate too. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I like so, all the chocolate. Do you know anything about tempering chocolate? No. I know yeah. everything about eating it. Well, the, 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 <laughs> the chocolate you've been eating is tempered, so it doesn't melt in your hand, and it's kind of oh, okay. like ready to go. And okay. when you melt it down, that takes away that quality, right? So you've got to bring it and kind of basically make the crystallizes crystals in there, kind of like. Get together, okay. And I'm getting very complicated. I'm gonna lose everybody here. So no, because it sounded like thing, dating, like they're getting together. <laughs> right? And sometimes the date works and it doesn't. If it gets, if it gets <laughs> too, if one person gets too aggressive, then it doesn't work out. Got it. So what we want to do then, yes. basically, is we melt half the chocolate. This is the easiest, simplest way to do tempered chocolate. Oh. You melt half the mass and you do it gently. So you do it over double boiler. If you take a look, there's water yeah. simmering away. It's very romantic. So it it's really just is. like a date, Trace. The analogy's working. And then working. what you do is you take the remaining half, right? Yeah. You shut the temperature down, mix it up. Okay. Okay. Got it. So what that'll do is that'll bring the chocolate because this chocolate's already tempered. It'll make all the molecules match up, and then we'll basically be left with tempered chocolate. Okay. So now that we're letting this mix, what we need to do is think about what we're gonna put into it. I don't know. I think it's good now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you like wafers and stuff in your Kit Kat. I do. So I've I got do. some. Look at this. Some pretzels ready to go for you over oh, there. Oh, nice. Okay. I want you to get, you know, get your arms worked out and can smash I actually, it up. I can do some smashing. Smash okay. it. I know you like to smash it. Get all I the do. anger out around the holidays. And because you know what, you're commenting on how much you like Kit Kat. Yes. Just throw some fingers in there. Do smash it. Smash that up too, right? That's amazing. What I've got over here is a little bit of macadamia Ooh, and cashews, nice. and then a little bit of harissa. So a nice little spice mix. Oh. Yeah, and I'm just going to toast savory. that lightly and make that like the oils come out of the macadamia. Amazing. Mix with this. And then, you know what? You can be really like kind of a paste kind of thing or you can leave it chunkier depending on what you want to see. If you want to see the chunks come out of the top. I'd rather have it chunkier. You want chunkier? Yeah. Well, I think you're it's almost there. It's just more substantial, right? So then if you take a look, mix that up a little bit more. Okay. And what you're looking for is, yours is actually like a lot smoother than mine. <laughs> mine's a little <laughs> lumpy here, right? Like not paying attention. The darker the chocolate, the longer it's going to take to melt. But it is important to kind of mix it around yeah. and keep it moving. And what you don't want to do is over melt it because if you over melt it, then all of a sudden your temper's gone. Got it. This don't is a bit of a delicate um, thing, the boiling of the chocolate. So are, am I going to put the ingredients into that or am no, I going to put this onto this? the sheet? You ready for this? Here's what we're going to do. Wait, 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 this is a two man wait, wait. job, so get the kids ready. Okay. And they, remember, chocolate and water, they don't date. They got hate it. each other. That's why you got to keep them separated, different okay. sections, right? They don't get along. They don't get along. So, okay. what you want to do is kind of like just dab this with a little rag there. Right. And then one, two. Buckle my shoe. Where'd your little spatula go, Trace? Oh, do we need it? Well, you know. Okay. Come on. So Every like last drop. Spread it counts. out. Spread it out just nice and thin, and then top it up. I was going to lick that later, but whatever. <laughs> I would put this aside for you. It's very lickable. We could do rock, paper, scissors for it. Oh my gosh. And then, whew, this one's hot. Nice. Right? So now take your little mixture there and your pretzels and your Kit Kat and, and just I can sprinkle put some it in. on top. This is right? so good. You can basically customize whatever, whatever you, you love want. in and your holiday bar. It's festive. I don't want to go too far on yours, but I have to have peppermint. Go ahead. Do it. So oh, go, uh, it's beautiful. Because now it's a Christmas bar, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've got the almonds. Yeah. Right? So now, just put it aside. Put it in yeah. a form of place, not necessarily a refrigerator. Yep. And then what you do is you come out with a finished product like this. And then all you have to do is, you ready? Smash it. Oh, oh that's second. like solid. Oh. It doesn't That's okay. Break. This, this, is, this is a good piece for me. That's a good piece for you. <laughs>